Hello everybody. Welcome back to more of the fruit of Grisaya. Deep in Asati's root now. We've decided in the last episode to kind of re relieve some of her burden and kind of act as kind of a maid ourselves and help other people with their chores and whatnot. And basically we're trying to show her how she should behave as opposed to how she is behaving. See if that works. My previous school, when compared to your more conventional learning institutions, operated on a decidedly extreme educational philosophy. As a representative example, an instructor once showed us a plain white cup. I oddly insisted it was even greener than your fresh-faced little shits, and spent the entire lesson ensuring none of us ever dared think otherwise. I was relatively new to the place, tended to speak, sorry, spend a good deal of time grumbling about how insane all this was. But when the time came and we were dumped out into the field, those who survived eventually came to understand that these hazing sessions were, in fact, surprisingly meaningful. Point being, when you need to produce results that can be achieved using other ordinary methods, sometimes it's necessary to satisfy unfair demands. Through my steadfast dedication to this principle, I currently find myself playing the role of a devoted maid serving a capricious master. Coming. She probably hears that every damn day. As Mane reclines indolently on the sofa, I carefully bring over a fresh brewed cup of tea. Since you didn't specify anything in particular, I brought milk tea. Is that acceptable? Well, unlike Sachi, I don't have a fully socked supply locker. I ran over and borrowed this from Chizuru's room. I say borrowed, but we all know I stole it. No, but that's the price you have to pay for these high-quality awesome leaves. Not easy to get your hands on them lately. With the global warming and all, destroying the crops. Yeah, I mean, compared to something like Darjeeling, Assam tea is pretty strong, both in color and taste. To smell that out a little, people usually dilute it with milk before drinking. It complements the flavor quite nicely. I do drink coffee more often, yes, but black tends to upset your stomach. If I'm drinking something other than water, I usually try to get some sugar and take while I'm at it. As a general rule, I tend to drink my coffee heavily sweetened. Ah, man after my own heart. Uh-oh, what is that? Okay. Well, compared to the fine calorie counting you're always doing, it's hardly anything worth mentioning. Hmm. Well, I've been waiting on a Monahan and foot for quite a while now, but... After the way that conversation went yesterday, I guess I should be grateful that she hasn't tried to serious any seriously shady orders. All right, Amani, if you have any other requests, go ahead and tell me now. If you're going to ask me at some point, might as well just get it out of the way now instead of later. No. Goodness, Miss Amana, you seem rather fatigued. Do allow me to give you a shoulder rub. Firmly seizing Amana's shoulders as I cut off her sentence, I dig my thumb sharply into the muscles around her neck. <laughs> Whatever are you implying, Miss? Sorry. <clears throat> Whatever are you saying, Mistress? This is nothing but an earnest expression of concern on my part. Thank you very much. Yuji, Maso 
ージも上手 Shall I get you a fr fr fresh pair of underwear while I'm at it? Mani smirks in evident satisfaction at my submissive words, but soon enough she's squirming underneath my vigorous shoulder rub. Speculating from what I've seen with Sati's behavior, there seems to be two methods of coping with problematic requests like this one. Either attempt to interject before the words are fully out of their mouth, or deliberately fail to hear them. Of course, I don't think Sati's consciously trying to be dishonest, but it's a fact that she's managed to slip past some difficult requests using the sort of plausible deniability technique. Given the absolute nature of the laws Sachi's imposed on herself, careless words without any real malice behind them could easily lead to disaster. To live a halfway decent life under such restraints, utilizing these kinds of gray areas is probably an absolute necessity. お兄ちゃんが何でも言うことを聞くって言ったのいいことに暴食美人の限りを尽くすあの年上どう思うよ。それを言うなら暴弱美人だと思うけど、ゆうくんも天音さんも楽しそうだからいいんじゃないかな。
からな。もうけい。すごい、なんか本当にやる気だ。まきちゃん自身が言い出したことですし、ここは本人の気が変わらないうちに実行してしまうのが得策かもしれません。Sounds about right. Let's go. Let's do this. Although our study session began with this relatively auspicious show of determination, it was less than an hour before the group's attention began to wander. In the end, I was forced to endure an hour long session of strip old maid on a whim of Machina's. Probably didn't help that I didn't know how to play old maid in the first place. But I still kicked ass. As we make our way back to the dorm, a m o n i grumbles a few resentful words and arms folded behind her head. Any card game just comes down to how well you can read your opponents. When you've got the hang of that, the odds of finishing at the very bottom get pretty low. Incidentally, Amani, you tend to leave the card you want to get rid of right in the middle of your hand. And Makina, your expression always makes it crystal clear when you get the old maid. At my old school, cards were the most convenient form of entertainment by far. Couldn't help but pick up an eye for tells. Even after I started at Ichigaya, many of the regular employees I worked with on the job were major poker lovers. Including a few who throw their car keys into the pot with perfectly composed faces. Aww, poor Sachi. No, personally, I think Sachi's losing streak had more to do with the way people kept asking her which one's the old maid at the end of the round. Of course, Sashi would answer with perfect honesty every time, so she invariably ended up stuck with the Joker in the end. Wait, 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 wait. She prances around completely naked and shoves her breast against me at every opportunity, but she's self conscious about this. Sometimes women are just incomprehensible. Problems on that count, might have mentioned this before, but my principle is not to refuse what's offered to me. I make exceptions. I think it's only natural to get suspicious over that kind of gratuitous service, but as a general rule, men tend to enjoy watching their girlfriends strip down to our underwear. And I'm no exception. You're welcome. Whatever you're welcome is in Japanese, that's what I said. Before anyone can respond to Mani's sudden declaration, she grabs Mark in his hand and pulls a step ahead of us. Oh, goodness. Oh, Makina. She's adorable. You're welcome. I was sort of expecting you to drag me around all day, to be honest. I'm actually kind of disappointed. I didn't have to do anything more crazy. Oh, yeah, that's. We haven't been on a proper date. A date? Like. Like. Date, date? Like. Like the fruit? So. Seek-kak-koi-bito-dosi-ni-nat-tan-da-kara. Date-kura-i-ste-tozen-de-sho? 
I see, yes. Money seems well versed in romantic maneuvering, so if she says so, maybe this is the right thing to do. Alright, Sashi, how about we go on a date? How's the 11th for you? Good? Good. Alright. Yeah, maybe, but something tells me she's just saying yes to say yes. See? But maybe she feels something. Very slight. Watching Sachi squirm, Amani smirks suggestively to no one in particular. From that expression, I'm willing to bet she's plotting something. Better keep a careful eye on that one. And the one on the left. Right. Okay, Pat Benasar. And with those words, Amani hurries off with Makana and two. And there they go. That was a fun day, wasn't it? <laughs> I guess we might as well go on this date then. I mean, everyone's so insistent that we go on one. And you know what? I think it'd be good. Good answer, Sashi. As always. Sachi nods obediently, a bright smile on her face. All well, perfectly typical Sachi, of course, but today, that very normality troubles me slightly. Makes me wonder if there's really any feeling behind this pleased tone of her voice. If that smile is completely hollow. For the time being, let's change out of uniforms and meet up in the dorm lobby. Right. That's not true. I watched Sachi make her way back to the dorm and try my best to reassure myself. That's not true. No, she wants to go on this thing, right? She loves us. She wouldn't have agreed to be our girlfriend. She didn't love us, right? I mean, at least maybe not love, but care for us deeply, right? 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 Please tell me I'm right. Or if you have to tell me, you can't tell me I'm right, at least tell me I'm left. Oh no, you're fine. By all means, keep me waiting because we're going to be waiting until tomorrow to go on this date. So I will see you all then. Take it easy. <laughs>